Hi there, um, and welcome to how to use this website called Galaxy, which allows you to do a lot of bioinformatic analyses. And today we're going to look at it to use a genome annotation software called Proca. And so the first thing you need to do is to actually log in or register. Um, so you guys would need to register. So let's just do that. So you would click on log in or register and then go down here and register down here and it's pretty straightforward so I'll get all of you to do that once you've done it done that you can log in or it might take you immediately to the home page so I will just log in with my details at the moment and then we'll get started okay so <clears throat> The program we're going to use is called Proca. So we can do one of two things. We can either um, upload our data or we can um, look for the program first and then upload our data. So we'll do the data first. <clears throat> so if you go to the right over here, you'll see that you have what will be called an unnamed history. Basically, um, that is going to tell you what sort of um, uploads you've had and also what um, analyses you've run. And you can then go back to them in the, in you know, um, after they've been run, you can go back to them whenever you log in. So we're going to load our own data. So you'll go to load your own data here and then you click. And I'm going to choose local files, which means you have them on your computer. And I have some files um, ready here that I'm going to have a look at. Um, it's this one here called SH2. This is not one you will be using. Um, so you will be using the ones that are on Canvas um, and they are under the DNA analysis um, in the module sections. Okay, so now we've got a, um, a file here. As you can see, SH2 combined runs. It tells you how big it is. And it asks you to auto-detect. In other words, it sort of... Um, it can try and detect what sort of a file you have or you can tell it and so it's better that we tell it so let's go ahead and we're going to have um, it's a fast a file so when that comes up you just click on it and so you're telling what it is don't worry about these settings there's really nothing you have to change here um, and then that's pretty much it you um, upload it now it hopefully won't take too long most of these files are just a few megabytes in size. So you can see this one's going quite fast. And then when you have uploaded it, it will show on your history on the right hand side of the screen here. Okay. So usually it takes a little bit for this last tiny bit. And then um, we will then get started with Proca. I believe you can actually do this while um, you can close this but I always like to just let it uh, finish up just to be certain that you know you don't screw up the upload. Okay, um, when this is done, we'll check that it's been added to our history. So the history is, as I said, is kind of like a file manager. Okay, so we'll close that. And here it is here on our history, sh2 combine runs contigs up faster. Usually if you click on it, it will give you some sort of... Um, information about it. it says the job is waiting to run so it doesn't know what we want to run yet but we will so let's go to the left over here and we go tools and we'll just type in proca it's p-r-o-k-k-a -K -K and search for it and here it is here proca prokaryotic genome annotation so we'll click on that and we'll get a whole lot of um, choices here and we really don't have to choose very many of them at all so these choices are Essentially, you're telling the software how you want it to run. So the first thing we do is, if you've only got one file here in your history, it will choose that one automatically. If it hasn't, just click on this down arrow and choose it. So now we know that that is our input file. That is what it will use for the analysis. Okay, all of these, we really don't have to change any of these. Um, we don't have to change any of this. I mean, we could add gene features, which sort of um, gives us a little bit more information about the genes, but we won't do that. Um, so the one thing we will 
do is we will look at the we sort of can give it a bit of a clue as to what we think our genome is in other words what bacteria does it come from and if we give it that it helps it um, do the analysis okay so this one is sh2 now sh2 um, i'm going to have to check my details here i have a file which has all of that information so this is the information that we have um, I've got in the lab manual. So if we look for SH2 here, you see that SH2 is a bacillus type bacteria. So the genus is bacillus. So let's go back and put in here bacillus. Now that will help the program to um, do the analysis. Now you don't have to fill this out, but since we sort of know it is going to be, a, it is a bacillus bacterium, we might as well put that in. I'm not going to bother with the species because we don't know exactly what the species name is. The rest of it, there's really nothing else to change down here. Um, with one, ex actually two exceptions. Um, and actually, I'm wrong. We will actually change nothing. Okay. So really the only thing you've changed, just to highlight that again, is over here. The genus name, Bacillus. The rest you can leave exactly as it is. And then you can be notified by email if you wish when it's done. Um, I'm not going to do that, but if you want, you can put in your email address and it'll tell you when the analysis is finished in case you want to go off and have a cup of coffee or go to the bathroom or something like that. And then we just go execute and it will start running. Now, it usually doesn't take too long, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, and so, this is telling you that you put in this file, or this is the file that's the input. It's going to give you 12 different files as outputs. Now, we're not going to have to look at all of these. We'll probably look at four or five of them. Okay. Anyway, so I am going to leave it at that, and then um, we'll come back when it is time to look at those results and everything has been done. Okay.